hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel just wanted to let you all know the streets of the entertainment section is a buzz we've got several things going on one thing i'm gonna talk about now is candy burris attempt or demand that if we bring Phaedra Parks back to Bravo TV and uh, fans or followers of the show. If they bring Phaedra Parks back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Candace is going to throw up the two fingers that says peace or deuces. And I'm thinking it means deuces. She got to go. Okay? I'm like, really? Really, Candy? Candy, girl? In the words of New Edition. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing, Candy? Candy, girl. You once was the world. You love so sweet. You're not a real treat. Candy, girl. All I want to say is sit your butt down and take it anyway. Okay. That was just my version, okay? But anyway, I'm just, I'm just totally a little upset. With Candace's demeanor, trying to make a point by leaving her financial based platform to go and leave the show to do other things, if it's true. Now, because Media Takeout put it out first. Then we had some other vlogs, Madame Mignor, as well as um, Hollywood Life. You know, all of them are, are, are creating a real big buzz on this candy. Says, if Phaedra returns, Scott Doggett, I'm leaving. Okay, don't know how true it is, but when you get to Hollywood life uh, and you get to Madame Marie or Mignor or Madame Mignor, they are kind of, uh, what do you call it, Credi credible based blogs or, or a magazines, you know, they, they don't want to get sued. So they try to put out what was said verbatim by the particular person that they're talking about. There's no speculation. They're saying that she actually said that. And I'm like, candy girl. Girl, if 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 you leave, okay, what would that actually benefit you? I mean, you could go check out other avenues like Nene did. She thought the grass was greener on the other side. She had to go and do her little tour with some uh, Broadway thing she was doing. And she tried to get on some television shows that got canceled. So, you know, I, I don't know if she was knocking on Bravo's door or they were knocking on Nene's door, having a mutual decision of coming back to the show because the ratings were plummeting a little bit. Okay, I don't know how it really went, how it went, you know what I'm saying? But I was glad they brought Nene back, you know? So, I'm like, God, dog it. If they gonna bring... Or attempting to bring Miss Phaedra Paws back. They need to bring Lisa Wu back. They need to bring Deshaun Snow back. They need to bring Cherie Whitfield, Michelle McKinley, Claudia Jordan, Kenya Moore, Kim Zosiak, Kim Fields. And my three G's, Apollo, Peter Thomas, and Greg Leakes. You know, I mean, he gets better, of course. I mean, you're going to go back in a little playing field of the Real Housewives of Atlanta from season one. Okay, from the very beginning, the introduction, you gotta bring all those people back and cut everybody your salaries that are on the show right now to host to bring all them back. Cause we just can't bring Frazier Brett and not bring the rest of them back. Cause all of them gave me something when they had certain episodes they were showing. Yeah, well, all of them gave me a little kiki. Especially the three gentlemen. The three gents. The three uh what do you call them? I could, I could really call them the Rat Pack. You know, like Dean Martin, Sinatra, and um, Sammy Davis Jr. But bring me back Apollo. Bring me back um, Peter Thomas. Bring me back Greg Leeds in good health. Even if we got to fill him from the hospital bed. I want some time for them brothers, too. But I was like, okay, now, Candy. Of course, Phaedra did do her little thing about Filling Portia's head about the Underground Railroad. That's where, well, no, I'm kidding. Portia got that on her own. But anyway, if we're going back to the old Portia, you know, she was kind of spacey, but she's kind of getting her firm 
feel of the earth, the planet, and she's set, you know, um, solidifying herself in the community. She's gonna get married soon. She's said she had a baby today. She gave birth today. I don't know. I check out that story and get back with y'all. And that's today, March twenty second, Friday. Okay. So kudos to her and congratulations to her if she did go in labor and she actually had a baby. But I'm gonna check that out and bring it back to you next video. Okay, but getting back on track with this can of birds, talking about she finna leave her lucrative career on the Real Housewives of Atlanta just because Faith and Paul coming. I'm like, girl, you got candy, girl. Candy, girl. Did you talk with Todd about this? Cause Todd need all revenue to come in. No matter how boring, no matter how seductive, sexual, you know, all that kind of stuff, he don't care. Porn, he don't care. He need all revenue coming in. Got the OG L on the OLG restaurants going on. He got his own production company that I still ain't understood, or, uh, you know, or anybody played out to us or what he got going on on his own. But since he married him, uh, Mrs. Uh, Burris, she gonna handle him either way, just long he don't go left on her. Okay, I'm sure they got a contract. They had that pre not pretty well solidified. And you know, he has some things. If he do this and he do that, he get, you know, positive things. But if he do this and go left, he don't get jacked but a certain amount, I guess. So it's a financial arrangement uh between them two. I have an open marriage for all we know. You know what I'm saying? If it goes from Monique and her husband, Teddy, or whoever he is, I guess it can go for Candy and her husband, Todd. But that, I'm not really on that. I'm on this mess. She talking about she going to leave if Faith Paul's come. I'm like, really? Really, Candy? Candy, girl. You can't let Faith Paul's ruin you. I mean, the whole thing about this sex dungeon, you and Tob is going to spike or drug Portia into, you know, having sex with you all without, uh, well, against her will and all this thing. You turn that whole idea into a lucrative um play or seductive act you taking on the road to a, a lot of big cities and states out here in this world this planet earth we're talking about you have capitalized on a deal i and i well excuse me on an idea that portia fell for when phaedra implemented in her brain and went to fruition and made it all up and got it all out and made such a big thing that you felt you she had defamed you she had tested your character she had possibly uh blocked many other avenues for your financial stability because of this naysay this rumored this defamation of character type of false allegations Miss Parks put out on you through none other Portia bringing it all out you know so I'm like come on now come on candy girl candy everybody always say this everybody always say that but you always still stay in the ring and fight girl don't let uh, Portia just because Andy and the crew want to bring her back shit I want all y'all to come back because all of y'all like I said gave me something to think about to just say oh why did they why are they showing them in this light why are they, why are they putting themselves in this you know ridiculous storyline why let me tell you why. It took me some time to figure things out. But sometimes people rather get into ratchet type businesses and get paid like millionaires and billionaires, sacrifice their integrity to have that bank loop or how they say it now, getting that bag. They, they rather have all of their wants and desires manifested here on earth instead of enjoying them in the heavenly realm. So, Instead of Phaedra uh, staying in her educational realm, where she definitely went to college, got her entertainment lawyer degree, got a, went back to school, got a mortuary degree, uh, supposedly uh, got in a contract with a well-known modeling agency. Didn't see too much on her. Uh, but one time they said she was a, a client of theirs and they were going to promote her and just that a third. But Ooh, I think that's been about two or three years ago. Haven't seen anything since. But I'm saying, very educated woman we have here and can get businesses and can represent people. Maybe not so winning cases from what Bobby Brown says. And T, I don't think she did too much for T.I. either. However, woman is very educated. 
And yet, she don't want to stay in the realm of doing things the correct way, or I say the more moral integrity type of compass wearing and doing and living day by day. She'd rather be on a ratchet type of drama, negative feel show, which is the Real Housewives of Atlanta. All these women that have come on this platform, they have had some type of post-secondary education, or they're very street smart, or they were entrepreneurs before all of this, and they were doing it uh, just like ordinary day people trying to make it work. And this big old competitive type of civilization we live in, you know. But then the entertainment and all this glory, all this fame, all this notoriety came about. So people just said, forget it. I'd rather act a total fool, get on a show that's very negative, that's going to show me in the worst light that you can possibly put me in uh, for the negative for negative. Or the negativity that's going to come out, all of it. It's going to embarrass me. It's going to embarrass my family, friends, foes, whatever. But you know what? They're going to pay me a doggone good salary. I'm going to be a millionaire before I hit the age. And some of them are, so, are young. They're in their 30s or whatnot. They're going to be millionaires before, if they, they, they um, invest their money correctly, before they hit 40. So they're saying, why should I work hard? Why should I, you know, uh be mentally exhausted trying to do what I went to school for. My parents wanted me to go to live a moral, fulfilled uh, Christian life or, or just a, a, a good life where I'm helping people and not carrying down people or, or wishing evil things on people. You know what I'm saying? You're just being a very good person. You're giving back to the community. You're doing uh, good humanitarian, philanthropy type things. And you're just a good person. You know what I'm saying? You ain't just out for self, self, self. You're giving back. You know what I'm saying? Forget that. I just want to live ratchet. I want to show my ratchetness all over the world and all 52 states as well as uh, international. And then nobody need to know the real me but my family members. But I'm going to go and be this other, my alter ego person or a person I don't made up or a person that they don't made up for me to play this little character role on this show. And it, if I do it right, they're going to actually put me on more shows. You know what I'm saying? So, so this is the reality you live in, Candy. This is a reality drama feel, negative feel, fame, fortune type of platform you're on. And honey, if you really think that if it's in the best interest of this Bravo uh, TV franchise to go and bring uh, your nemesis uh, for the negativity, they're going to do it. They, they're going to say goodbye to you and they're going to bring these people on. And for if this is your what you've been working for and maybe I said maybe it's wrong you're just saying it because you have other opportunities that don't open up for you or maybe Bravo's gonna give you another spinoff I don't know but like I said nine times out of ten when all that has dried up you're gonna have to come back to where you started from which is the Real Housewives of Atlanta showing us more craziness unheard of um just thoughtless type of behavior that you wouldn't want to put on your best day to show even the Lord himself. You know what I'm saying? Because all y'all don't have to repent for a lot of things y'all are doing, saying, and, and cussing, and carrying on, and treating people like crap, and, and doing all this God-forsaken stuff. It's going to come back. But see, this is a platform you chose to be in. So, yes, an idea was forged on you was told, you know, this, that, and the third, that you were doing this person, which you did. You could have lost a lot of your clients that you were trying to build through your platform of being on your Real Housewives of Atlanta. But, uh, you know, you grew this stuff, and you turned something in that was negative placed on you. You turned it into a positive way to make money for you. So anything that comes of dirt, you make money with that third dirt. What you think going to come back tenfold? Full circle, more dirt, okay? So, that was my tea of it. I don't see why you're leaving just because they want to bring Phaedra back. 
hey, they bought Nene back. You didn't too much care about her either. Of course, she didn't throw salt and dirt on you. But you knew what kind of person Phaedra was. You're not going to play me like you didn't know. You know what I'm saying? But you chose to be on this show. And this show tends to bring the worst out in the women because that's what they want. They want this evilness, this drama feel for the negative to progress. And if you can't give it to them, they will get rid of you. Like they did of the Sun Snow. She was just a, 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 a Christian woman trying to do the right thing. Reality shows at the time when it first started, it was new to Atlanta. It was just new to us, period. Because you're like talking about going to somebody's life um, on whatever day and taping them for a full day session or however the setting was. Your cameras are on you. Your every move. Whatever you do and it's exciting and it's embarrassing for you, they going to use it because that's what the show was about. But Deshaun Snow said, I, I can't do this no more because I'm never going to give y'all no ratchetness. So see, that was not her platform. Same thing I would say for Kim Fields. I liked at her what she gave. But she like, I ain't finna get to do all this other underhand stuff, talking about each other, didn't do this and that. Nah, that ain't me. Thank you for the exposure, but no thank you. So she did her work one season. She bounced. You know, I don't think it was not necessarily people just didn't like them or whatever. They just didn't feel like giving their whole uh, self to be turned into something negative. That's all it was. But let me just read uh, something that was put out by Madame... Menor on this thing that they titled Candy Bird says she will exit Real Housewives of Atlanta if Phaedra Parks returns. Okay, this is what they say. The source was written by Marcus Ingram from Getty. Uh, I guess Getty Magazine or Getty Vlogs or whatnot, but it's a reputable uh, agency. I, I've heard of them. Uh, it says, well, it looks like the infamous Real Housewives of Atlanta sex dungeon conversation has returned somewhat. In a recent interview with Hollywood Life, singer and entrepreneur Candy Burris revealed that she will indeed exit the show if her friend turned foe, Phaedra Parks, makes a return to Bravo's Housewives, Real Housewives of Atlanta. There's only been like one year that I had to kind of like question if the show is really worth it. Candy said, invoking the memory of everything that went down between her, Phaedra Parks, and Portia Williams during season nine of the Bravo franchise. If you need a refresher, here's what happened. Candy was at odds with Phaedra and Portia over a pretty detrimental rumor which claimed Candy planned to drug Portia during a night out in New York City with Candy's husband, Todd Tucker. Rumors continued to escalate during a sit-down between Candy and Portia when Portia accused the latter of having a sex dungeon in her home. Okay. The drama swelled even more as the three came to a heated confrontation during the season's reunion finale when Portia revealed that the source of the rumor was none other than Phaedra Pauls. All right. Candy told the outlet that everything weighed heavy on her spirit and she was ready to walk away from it all. Obviously, it was that year when the whole craziness with Phaedra happened. You know, Candy continued. So that was the only year that I kind of questioned it because I was like, okay, this is too much. Candy explained that even with the negativity, she's been able to enjoy success on the show, which helps her promote her numerous businesses, ventures, and introduces her to new fans. I just think it's kind of crazy when you don't even realize you're in a battle with a person to the point where they would make up stuff about you, Candy said. I wouldn't even ever know she was doing that had Portia not told it at the reunion, she said. After revelations, Frazier was not invited to return back to the series. Portia and Candy have tried to remain amicable through the issue, still rears its, uh, well, though the issue still rears its ugly head every now and then. Candy's position makes it clear that while both Portia and Phaedra have apologized, some wounds may may too deep to recover from. Okay, and that's what they had said. And like I said, I had read somewhere Media Takeout had it uh, before I actually saw HollywoodLife.com uh, bringing out as well as Ma Madame 
Menorah, Menorah uh, which are both very credible uh, resources for entertainment gossip. Okay, but I'm like, girl, can it, girl? If it's a publicity stunt, play it, you know, play it, play it, play it, because you're gonna hear everybody talking about it, because you know we talking about it already. Okay, and um. If it's a blissful stunt, go ahead and do your thing, girl. But if you walk away because they want to bring out or bring back Phaedra, you know, because I guess, uh, what's her name? Nene want to bring back Phaedra because you got Portia and all these other folks. So she just want to keep up some dirt. I don't know. I don't know what the storyline details, okay? But the point that you would let her, after you don't capitalize for the positive, on this negative situation that was put on you because you felt it was detrimental to your, um, what do you call it, monetary avenues and your financial portfolio, which helps take care of you and your family, your livelihood, then, girl, girl, you have capitalized it over tenfold. And then you're still capitalizing because you have this, the, uh, the dungeon uh, type of, um, part of your fare that you got traveling on the road on, you know, a lot of different states in our U.S., okay? So, I'm like, slow your roll. Think about the situation, like you said yourself in this commentary from um, Madame Menor. This was your uh, bread and butter, Real Housewives of Atlanta, that w helped you finance other business avenues. So, I'm like, come on. Are you really ready to go? Or are you just pulling our legs, Candy Girl? Candy Girl, okay? But that's all I had. That's all the entertainment news I have for you at this time. Please subscribe, share my videos, and like them as well. And uh, y'all have a great weekend. But I'll see you next time for another video on something. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be on something. Take care. Bye-bye.